Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon's Dogma with me, Bring It On. We get back to the Bandit Fortress to see if we can't get a quest. And that's all I've really planned out for this episode. <laughs> yeah, the wolves are back. Which means the bandits are probably also back at the top of the trail. Okay, well that's gotten a lot easier. Well, the boulders aren't back, so maybe the bandits aren't either. Yeah, I don't see them up here. Oh, neat. Probably for the best, since I'm trying to stay on good terms with the bandits right now. Not that killing the bandits outside the fortress impacts your relationship. Seems this road doesn't get much use. Really, the bandits are working against each other here. You'd think you'd want one group at like the entrance to the this area to haggle or not haggle, to hassle uh, adventurers or wanderers or travelers, whatever. These have multiple mobs of bandits that are immediately attacking anyone who comes this way. That can't be very profitable for a bandit. Especially since they have a, a, a base here. They need to stay supplied and funded. I guess they are sending people out. Like they had Pike and Casardis, who is looting for the bandits. These are human footprints. If I was in charge, I would have my bandits um, just take money from travelers. Or other supplies, not immediately attack anybody who came this way. So, the celebrated arisen has come. You look able enough. But I've no patience for pomp. I'm a man of substance, you see. I've a policy of speaking only with folks possessed of their own will. Individuals, like. We've our own ways of testing the strength of a fellow's will here. If you've the stomach for it. Okay, hear him out. Tis not can prove a man's will but his actions. Tis actions brings a band like mine together. Results. You would walk among us, you'll adopt the same philosophy. Which is to say, you'll do as you're told. So listen well. You've two paths before you. The first is to quash the competition. To the northwest lies a rival band of thieves. See a few of their numbers laid to rest permanently. The second is to rid us of a traitor. There is one who broke his oath left this place without my leave. Find him and see that he reaps the consequences. Make your choice. I care not which. Do one of these and I will know you for a person of will. We shall talk of recompense then. Okay, so the second part of that quest we said to get rid of the person that left which is Pike in Kazardis. Uh is only available if you do the quest where you capture Pike. And that's the one we're going to do.
I remember right, the other group of thieves also has quests, or at least one quest. So I don't want to anger them either. spoke of me, and they know me for a traitor. I, I'd little doubt they would. Mole took me in as a boy, said he saw promise in me. And here I've given him naught for all he's done. Just up and left. Left thieving now too. You're the arisen, sir. Mayhap you would know best. What ought I do? Return to Mole's hold and offer up your life. I, I fear you have the right of it. It's the proper thing to do. I cannot run from the oaths I've sworn. I shall return as you say. Because not, I shall walk to my death. But at least I shall die a man. I thank you, sir. Farewell. Probably not the best result, but also, I never noticed that. They're, they actually pull in the fish traps. Calm, you see them moving the water and stuff. That's really cool. Neat little detail. Now I have to run all the way back to the bandit camp to turn in this quest. to see Valmiro about, and none the worse for wear, it would seem. He's a wandering spirit. I know it pains him to cause worry, but he can't manage otherwise. In any case, cousin, you have my thanks. I've gained quest knowledge. Alright, another quest successful. familiar with this quest now. It was no easy choice. Let's back and tell more then. So we return there or we could go all the way up here and kill Shall ten of the female bandits. Traveling peddlers, guardsmen, and other folk. Which will attack us on sight unless we dress up as a woman. Well, all the male pawns in the party have to dress up as women. Could have also gone there for the uh, tome quest. They wouldn't have had it. They could have asked the bandit leader there about it. The rocks here may hold all. Good little, good little run ahead of us. But the way should be clear now, because we recode the wolves and the bandits haven't spawned again. Serves as a fine bulwark against monsters. Nature is unbridled here. It's quite a pleasant corner. And wait. Let's proceed with caution. We're out to meet bandits and thieves as often. I can use a new cloak master. or cape. This one's okay. It definitely looks like beginner adventure Keep wear. The rocks as we walk the slopes, master. With so many twists, it's hard to see what lies ahead. This scenery is quite a change. Seems this road doesn't get much use. I don't know if I'll ever replace my headwear. I mean, at some point I'll probably put a helmet on, but I really like the way this looks. Makes my character look like a warrior king. What a splendid woodland, and so rich in resources. And fashion is the highest form of optimization in Dragon's Dogma. The goblins of this forest have a taste for that is the end game. I think there's a chimera up that way. Could be mistaken. These are human oh, there's a patch of woods somewhere that has a chimera in it. And we nearly avoided an even bigger danger uh, when we went to... Well, not narrowly. But 
and uh, Devil Fire Grove. It's another extremely dangerous beast that lurks in those woods. Surprised to see our traitor Ailes resolved so. He is here. Pike has come back. Our law has ever held death for oath breakers. Knowing that, he still came back. Said his life was ours to take in recompense for his betrayal. He left us to thieve alone. Then became some innkeep's pet when he failed even at that. He was a weakling, adrift on fortune's tide. Now, after meeting you, he returned. He made his choice, proved the strength of his will. I thought it only fitting to reward such growth, so I've decided to forgive his transgression for now. Tis a stay of execution. You have proven your will arisen. In return, I grant you freedom. You're an equal among us now. The freedom to follow your own will where it takes you is a precious thing indeed. Here, bring this whene'er you wish to pass. I shall see you are granted free transit. I've gained quest knowledge. All right, so we got... Maul's Badge of Amity. Token that proves one has earned Maul's fellowship and trust. It shines with a muted gleam. I think that allows us to avoid fighting the bandits up on the path. Which is kind of a shame, I enjoy fighting them. Um, we have a couple quests to do. Let me check the map. So, one, two, and three. Are all there. Feel half a thief myself, sauntering through this place. This fort was built by a duke of old. The arisen is an interesting creature indeed. You act on behalf of justice, even when it strays from the law. You are driven by more than the promise of profit. I would be curious to follow your exploits, even were your actions not tied so to Grancis' fate. I'm at Casardis. Uh, there's a couple more escort quests we can do there. Should be a little easier now that we don't have to fight the bandits. One of them takes us back to Bloodwater Beach. This is a place quite restful to my kind. You humans certainly do make a lot of expressions. I think it's inside. Cyan, you worry about being a fighter. I worry about our team's morality. Treasure. 
Is that an apple? Apple's here for a decent amount, so let's grab that. Thank you. I'm pretty sure this is up there. I didn't actually see who broke that. I was gonna use that to uh, jump up here. Alright, let's go back to the map. So four is also here. Oh, shoot. Cassidus always held their meetings in the chief's room. Right. Oh no, it's in the cave. Did you max out her vocation? Did I max out mine? Probably not. Not yet. Okay, let's go knock out the other badge of vows that we have. Keep getting the controls. I don't know what's going on today. I haven't played in a week, but I just played earlier this morning. Stage fright. What meaning do you suppose those stones hold? Actually, while we're here, I'm gonna upgrade Megan's mask. We give her that bandit mask. Actually, we can change her vocation as well. Now, let's see what we can get, and then we'll see about changing her vocation to ranger. This last Oliver, have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Can't afford steel will yet, but stone will uh, hardens the flesh, allowing the user to stand firm against all attacks and take less damage for a time. That'll probably be useful. I get perfect defense later. I'll probably get a you know, let's go and grab sheltered spike as well. So I know that uh, Master Thief and Reset, well, Master Thief isn't very useful in pawns. Uh, they typically only use it when one of those debilitating effects are in effect, uh, like sleeping blinded or being held. I'm doing it mostly so she tries to focus more on using her bow. I'll grab Instant Reset as well. An advanced form of Reset, employable even while under attack, that returns the user to a neutral stance, eliminating openings caused by other actions. Leg like strength is really good. It renders you one rank lighter in terms of mobility. I might actually keep her as a strider until she gets this.
Did I buy anything? I don't think I did. What will it be to have your pick? Come again soon. Also, some weapons can be further enhanced with their aid. This inn can serve as the hub of our journeys. Me, I've I the master works all. Oh, I didn't upgrade any of her stuff. Whoops. Go grab these badger vowels. I think once we finish these, more pop up at the pot guild. Gran Soren, the beating heart of all Granses. So while we're here, we're going to explore under the bridge. Blast arrows are very good. Back than I thought. I thought it was on this wall. Lest we were no less vigilant now. Castle walls, all the ruins of such. Armed most like a wall. Oh gosh, they come out of the woodworks, aren't they? Up my vocation, which means I can swap to mage, which I'm not super excited about. I've played mage before. My first playthrough, I played sorcerer. So I went from mage to sorcerer, and um, yeah, I'm okay with not doing it again. <laughs> I assume it's above, not in here, right? More armed bandits? I can't grab that. Okay, well. What's this? 
this. Be something I'm missing. There may be odd abuse inside. Oh, there it is. All right, different sky six. That's up on this one. I really thought I had that. There we go. Alright, fast travel back into Grand Soren, which is right next to the Pond Guild. We can see if there's more of these to collect. Right there, but there's another one down here we can check out. So those are within the city, right? That what I'm gathering. Let me go knock those out as well. It's a very good chance it's actually on the roof. Let's head back this way. Start scaling the roof to see if we can't make our way back over there. I feel familiar with this area now. This shop will see to your hair. This place holds its share of shadows. We'll like find all manner of shops here. A ladder, master. may be able to cross from roof to roof, Risen. Some corners of the capital can only be reached by crossing the rooftops. Alright, another great success. Then 12 is also in the city. No! <laughs> Thought I had it. Oh, hey, this guy. What's going on, buddy? Ah, arisen, sir. I find myself in a situation most dire. Of course. I wasn't planning on tracking this guy down yet. He's usually in the nobles' quarter, which I haven't explored in the city yet. I thought to sell some land I own to raise capital, but I must first evict those who live upon it. 
This typically requires a rather involved procedure, but times are dire, and I wish the current residents gone with all haste. They'll not hear this proposal from me, but from the Arisen. They are like to weigh it carefully. You are my best and final hope in this matter. Can I rely upon your aid? Sure thing, buddy. <laughs> I wagered you'd agree, and I never lose a wager. They'll not hear this proposal from me, but if it were to come from the Arisen, they'd like to weigh it carefully. Please convince the residents that leaving quickly is in the best interests of all. Any rarities to sell? I'll pay you handsomely. Maker's finger is... It's really strong. Uh, it one-shots just about anything in the game. Including the final boss. Well, one of the final bosses. Depending on which one you consider the final boss. Alright, not gonna worry about that quest quite yet. Did we go the wrong way? Well, we can go this way. The scrivener at the black cat can duplicate objects in your possession. I'm gonna grab this badge of vows before we wrap up the episode. I'd also like to change my vocation to mage while I'm thinking about it. I don't think the gameplay for Mage is nearly as exciting as Fighter, since you're not parrying or anything, you're just running around, avoiding attacks and casting spells. But, it does pay off when you become a sorcerer. The sorcerer has some of the coolest looking abilities in the game. I was afraid I wasn't going to make it. Is it below me? There we go. Alright, let's go take care of... I aid you, sir. I we pay tariff on Fornival's land. Oh, once us gone, does he? I wager it's not so simple a proposition as all that. I know Fornival's the law on his side, but I'm loath to simply up and go at his command. It's a hard decision, sir, and not one I'd make alone. I've a wife and son. They should get word of this afore all else. They're off about the town, though where I don't know. Perhaps you could find them and explain the matter. I would hear their thoughts ere I make any decision. No Where doubt you were filled with Sarah? fear at all. Okay, not gonna write that quest at this moment. Yeah, we need to must be within the capital somewhere. The change my vocation. These last years. Grand sword. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? That's right, I was going to equip this. I'll hold on to it for now. What will it be today? What will it be today? At your pick, any you like. What will it be today? Alright, is there anything worth learning? Did I already look at this since I hit location level 10? Alright. I 
I don't know that I have any equipment available on my person. I will just buy stuff from the store. It's probably the easiest way to do it. I do have a staff, don't I? That's only for Archmage. That sucks. Right. In fact, I might go and swap Megan to Ranger as well. At your pick, what will it be today? At your pick, in your what will it be? At Keeps like the wrong thing. Will it be today? All over the place today. All right. Uh, let's sh sh All right. Let me start with Angle. Here we grab Ice Boons since we do fight Saurians pretty regularly as well. Oh, never mind, you start with Angle. That explains it. And Levin's really good against Cyclops. What will it be today? At your pick, in your life. this is really good. I can't stand it. It's one of the pieces of equipment uh, that's in your stash when you arrive in Grand Soren. That's why you see so many low-level pawns with it equipped, because it's extremely powerful when you get it for free. I'm actually going to equip this as my main character. Alright, we got to manage our equipment a little bit more. I know this probably isn't super exciting. I could probably cut it out, but I'm not going to this time. Actually, I think you can keep that. Yeah, I can wear that as well. All right, there's one more thing to do. <laughs> one second. We'll we'll get there. And we might still change this, depending on what the shop has. I want to get ready for the next one. Oh, 
All right, so what does this do? So it has fire already attached to it, so grab Crimson Glare, I think. Sure, it has a reinforced lung blow. Let's see. To enhance everything. If you've got the master works all. Ah, just because we have it, go ahead and upgrade these as well. Same thing for her stuff. That's it. Alright, I think I actually equipped the wrong thing. But that works. Okay, go chop everything off again. Finally going to call it here. Uh, next episode, we'll probably pursue... In fact, no, let's go ahead and teleport to... Sardis, I don't forget. We're going to do the escort quest in Kasardis. That time's got a little away from me. Well, I'll make sure that we're ready for the next episode and I don't waste time not grinding out vocations. The sooner I master everything, the sooner I can move on to Mystic Knight, which is the whole purpose of this playthrough. Alright, I'm going to call it here. Uh, next episode, we'll try to knock out this one. Uh, escorting Kina to Prayer Falls. Wasn't there another one? Maybe it was at the other tavern. Either way, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.